I think the inspiration was a human response to the subject matter that was not ironic or detached. He loved to draw, he loved to paint. I mean, that, that was his life. That was Marvin. He just loved, uh, he loved art. There was a way in which he engaged the world he was familiar with in the subway. His studies were not really limited to the classroom, but he engaged the world outside of the classroom. Particularly in the last two or three years, he, he started to uh, get a much better handle on how to take the subway sketches that he did on the spot and transform them into paintings in the studio here and also how to use the models in the classroom studio and place them in the environment of the subway. The four of us were, were really tight around here and uh, he wanted to do a painting of, of his friends. So he posed us in the studio and, um, and he did it. Then he placed us in a subway car using his uh, sketches and his memory as reference. For 22 years, Marvin Franklin worked the night shift as a New York City transit track worker. However, by day he honed his craft depicting life as he experienced it in the subways. I met him as an art student in my class uh, and uh, it really was only after a while that I realized that uh, he had another job working on the night shift uh, as a track worker. He would come off the night shift uh, and into the morning class, uh, which was kind of amazing to me, because uh, he always had such remarkable energy. Last April, 55-year-old Marvin died in the line of duty, just three years shy of his retirement. He left behind hundreds of pieces of artwork, from sketches and prints to watercolors. It was, it was an incredible shock, I, I think, for everyone. I mean, he was so young, and uh, I think, and he was so, uh, I, th I think he was at a point of his work where things were really coming together in such an interesting way. Recently, the New York City Transit Museum unveiled a brand new exhibit, showcasing some of Mr. Franklin's artwork to the public. Shortly after Marvin's accident, we started getting calls from, from friends of his, fellow artists, suggesting that we do an exhibit of his artwork. And, you know, we knew about the accident, but not about him as an artist. And so as we started to follow up on this, you know, people who knew him thought of him as an artist first, not a track worker. And so we, we got in touch with the family, and they invited us in and showed us his work. And, it's just a wonderful body of artwork. You know, most of it's never been seen before. And you know, once we saw it, we, we realized that this really was someone very special. I never knew he had such talent. You can see in his work, his, his love, his desire for artwork, the way he penciled in every line. Truly a great artist, and we will miss him. Well, I had no idea, really, that he was this phenomenal of an artist just amongst us, um, really, I mean, at a level that, that's really stellar. Colleagues, family, and MTA officials attended the opening. There are those few, those talented few, who write or paint and do things that last for the ages. And uh, Marvin Franklin was one of those lucky and, and talented few. It has great meaning to be here and just delighted that the Transit Museum and we, along with uh, the TWU, uh, could honor Marvin in that way. I worked with Marvin Franklin as a track worker. Um, I came in about a, about a year before him, so we worked in gangs and on jobs together, so I knew him personally. So it has a personal importance as well. Um, but this shows a dimension of transit workers that is often not recognized. I'm so happy to see everyone here to honor the legacy of my husband, Mark Franklin. It's been a joy to everyone who's been here to enjoy 
and look upon his work, then he was a true artist. More than just showcasing Marvin's talent, the exhibit was a way to remember the life of an employee who had touched many lives with his spirit. Marvin always wanted the feeling of connection. He was a third of 10 children. We were brought up in a, an environment that was very, family connection was very important. So not only in that intimate family, but the extended family, the community family. The portraits um, um, that I see here, that you all see here, I have a very intimate relationship with them because uh, I saw many of them in progress. I was with him when he painted some of them. Um, he would tell me to come over to see some of the completed works. And uh, every time it was the same enthusiasm and excitement that a little child would have. I am so happy that finally he is getting the recognition that he is supposed to receive. I'm just sorry that he is not here with us physically to enjoy it. I know that he is here spiritually. As a track worker, Marvin Franklin laid the foundation for our trains. In the community, he told a story of life. I'm Nora Bassett, reporting for Transit Transit News.